I need some sort of intro, so I'm inserting it now. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey guys, Jess is a mess here. I'm Jess. My entire life is a mess, and today I'm gonna do a Plato's Closet haul for you guys. If you don't know what Plato's Closet is, it is a secondhand clothing store, so sort of like a thrift store, but like way better. <laughs> I mean, thrift stores are amazing, don't get me wrong. I love thrift stores. A lot of clothing pieces that I have, I get from thrift stores. However, Plato's Closet is a bit more um, high fashion compared to a like Goodwill or a Salvation Army. There's a lot of mall, like high fashion clothing that gets donated to Plato's Closet, or not even donated, you like sell it to Plato's Closet. So whatever, I'm not being sponsored. You can look up Plato's Closet if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> but all I know is that I go there often and um, I love their clothing. I didn't even plan on doing a haul, like I didn't plan on getting that much, but they were having an insane sale 50% off of a bunch of really awesome clothes. I bought 17 pieces of clothing and like three or four of them were full price. So the first thing I got was this long sleeve shirt. This is one of the very few items that I paid full price for um, because it's just so darn cute. And the shirt was actually the most expensive thing that I bought. This was $10 and it's this cropped uh, plaid long sleeve shirt button up, it's got these real big pockets that seem a little bit useless because it's, it's like things would so easily fall out with how loose they are, but they're very cute. And um, this in general was just very cute. I actually got this to wear over like a dress because I tried it on with a dress and I was like, oh my God, this has changed my life. Ooh, we actually might look good with some high-waisted shorts. <sighs> Girl. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm very excited about this buy. It's so soft, can I just say? It's really comfortable. The tag says it's Kendall and Kylie. I didn't know that they had a clothing line, <laughs> but apparently they do, and this is a really cute shirt. And uh, again, it was only $10. <laughs> it's so fun. Speaking of dresses, this is one of the dresses that I got to wear under that long sleeve shirt. It is just a very plain black flowy dress. Uh, this was on sale for $4. I really needed just some plain solid color clothing. And when I tried this on with the long sleeve shirt, I just like fell in love with that kind of fashion. I think it reminds me of Dodie Clark and that's probably why I love it so much because she often wears like sweaters with dresses or like skirts and it always looks so darn cute. So uh, <laughs> that is why I got this. This black dress was from Soprano. While I was looking in the black dresses, I found this beauty and it actually fit me well, which is like, Rare. So it sort of has like this laced up front. It's just very flowy and short and beautiful and I just thought that's like such an elegant, simple black dress and I have nothing like that. I actually don't own one solid colored dress so I thought, yeah, I need this. And this was on sale for four dollars. This dress was from Foreign Exchange. Then another black piece of clothing. It may look like a dress <laughs> but it is not. It's just a long tank top. Um, this I actually did pay full price for just because it was so cute and I need more tank tops because it's going into the summertime and I'm just heating up. I'm already like sweating just in this. So uh, I wanted a nice thin tank top that I could wear but that still covered well. But I definitely see myself wearing this out of the house with some cute leggings or uh, some jean shorts or something. Oh my god, it's so soft too. Oh my god, it's so fucking soft. Um, so this is from Massimo, and it was $5. So this next tank top that I bought is probably my favorite one. I am so glad that I found it. I was actually like on my way to the register when I just like uh, spotted it and I was like, <gasps> I need it. This is the tank top that I found. I love it so much. The colors and the floral and the Spider-Man. So pretty. If you don't know, uh, my favorite Marvel superhero is Spider-Man. I love him dearly. And this tank top in general is just absolutely adorable. Here's the good part. Somehow this was on sale. Like who didn't want to buy this that made this get put on the sale rack? So it was originally $6 and now it's three and now it's mine. <laughs> $3 for this beautiful Spider-Man tank top. I I'm in tears. I'm obsessed. I can't believe I found like a, a floral Spider-Man pink and blue shirt. Like that's all of the things that I love combined into one. Next up, I guess we'll talk about some bottoms. These, these, these right here. This is a pair of shorts that I got. Uh, this was again <laughs> on sale. 
Uh, originally it was $7, I paid $3.50. So um, this is a gorgeous, I think that's a gorgeous pair of shorts. It's got like a bunch of arrows on it and it's black. I don't think I own any black shorts other than like sports shorts. So these are just like some cute, trendy black shorts and they have pockets. Can you see the pockets? I have a lot of jean shorts and some sports shorts but I just didn't own any shorts that were like neither. <laughs> that were just like cute, fun, comfortable shorts. And these are those. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. And the next thing that I got is this brown, like I don't even know what material this is, but it's one of those skirts that's like really soft. It's like a, ooh, is it suede? Is it like a fake suede brown faux suede? I don't know. But uh, it's so soft. I love skirts like these, these brown sort of uh, suede looking skirts. This one in particular is button up like all the way, which is a slightly, slightly a bit concerning. Like what if my skirt gets caught on something and then it just like whoosh, I flies off and I'm like, oh, like in the street in my underwear. Like that's terrifying. It, oh, well, <laughs> it just opens so easily, which is like nice, but it's also like, what if it falls off? So when I wear this, I'll probably have to wear shorts under it just in case, <laughs> but it is really cute. And I've always wanted a skirt like this and it has back pockets. And this one was not on sale, but it was worth it because I've been looking for a skirt like this for such a long time. So I did pay $7 for this, which isn't bad, honestly. <laughs> but still, like, I wish it were like $3. And the next item that I bought is not going to be <laughs> very useful in the summer, but I love it so much, I just, I had to get it anyway. It is this gorgeous long sleeve uh, hoodie. It has like a round bottom and it's like pointed at the side a little bit, like it goes up a little bit. It's got these patches on it. And um, I think the patches, like if it were without the patches and it was just like this gray, uh, greenish gray sweater, I would probably be like, mm, no. But the patches sold it for me. It looked so cute on, so I just had to get it. And it was uh, full price, it was $9. So, uh, but you know what, for me, worth it. So the last few pieces of clothing items that I have are all from the men's section. I like to shop in the men's section sometimes because they usually have some really cool shirts or some nice tank tops. Uh, I went through a lot of the girls' tank tops and you saw that I found a few, but I didn't find enough. I felt like I just wanted some nice basic tank tops that were cute, but I could just wear like around the house or out when I just don't give a crap what I look like and I'd still look pretty cool, pretty fly. So uh, <laughs> the first tank top that I got is this gray and black striped uh oh, wait oh yeah i was like where was the pocket i know there was a pocket on this uh but the pocket is right here and it's like almost invisible unless you're looking really close but it's got this little pocket right here um this is so soft and so cute originally it was seven dollars but it was on sale thank the lord it was on sale for 350 and that's like the only reason that I got it. I wouldn't have paid $7 for this, like I'm sorry. It's a really nice tank top, but like no. <laughs> the one thing that like sometimes when I get guy tank tops, it's either like too loose around here, so like my boobs show <laughs> uh, when I like bend down or something, or it's like too tight around here because you know, guys have like flat chests, so you know, they don't really account for a boobage. <laughs> but this one actually fit really, really well and um, it's just very comfortable, so I'm going to enjoy wearing this in the summer when I just need a basic thing to wear and I don't wanna like waste, uh, you know, put wear and tear on the tank tops that I really, really like. And I can just wear these because it's cute and comfortable. And the next tank top I got is this one. It's a dark, um, almost blackish gray. I love the colors of this one. That was the main reason why I got it. Uh, again, this one was on sale. Originally $6, it was now $3. I just thought the colors were so pretty. This one doesn't fit like as well as the black and gray one does but I really, I just love the colors and it was only $3 and it was still very comfortable. So I got this again for my chill days. Good beach wear if you're a guy or a girl, doesn't really matter. The next tank top that I got, uh, it's a bit big. <laughs> I got this Pikachu tank top. I think it's, an, yeah, it's an extra large. This, again, the only reason I got this was because first of all, Pikachu, it's cute and it was on sale. So originally $6, it was $3. You'll see in a clip like how it fits me and it doesn't fit me very well, it's very loose. I just couldn't leave it there. I couldn't leave without it. It was only $3. And the last two male clothing items that I have are these pair of shorts. Um, these are a bit much, but if you know anything about me, I'm a bit much. 
so these pants are perfect for me. I have been wanting some male shorts like for a while because one, they have really big pockets and two, like almost all female shorts are very, very short. And I just wanted some longer ones, some like to the knee shorts, you know what I mean? And I think I, personally, I think I look pretty cool in them. I think I can pull them off pretty well. The lady at the register was like, oh, are these for your boyfriend? And I was like, no, they're for me. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah, but you could make these work. <laughs> and I was like, thanks, that was real convincing. <laughs> but to each their own, you probably, you might think these are hideous. That's totally fine. Uh, most of the clothing that I wear is hideous and I love it. <laughs> There's no pocket on this butt cheek, but on this one there is, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Is that like a normal thing for guy pants? I feel like it's not. I feel like I've never seen that before, but I also haven't really been looking at anybody's butts, so how should I know? I don't know. If you have been looking at people's butts, can you tell me is this normal to only have one pocket on the back? <laughs> oh, it's weird. These were originally, um, $8, but I paid four because it was on sale. And the last thing from the men's section that I got were these very strange pants. <laughs> I found these pants and I thought they looked so cool. These were originally $10. I would not have paid $10 for these, but they were on sale for five. And for five, I would buy these. They're kind of like skinny sweatpants, if that makes sense. Like the main reason I got these was because when I put them on, it kind of made me feel like a ninja. I was like, oh, these pants are so cool. I could like fight crime in this or something. I don't know, <laughs> it was silly, but I also just thought they were kind of cute and I don't have very many pants. Uh, if you know me in real life, you know that like I only wear the same two pair of pants <laughs> like for all of winter, but they're my favorite pairs of pants. So I just thought that I needed more. I don't really like buying jeans at Plato's Closet because I feel like they're a bit overpriced and I can find really good jeans from Walmart that are brand new for like 12 bucks. However, uh, other types of pants I'm cool with. No back pockets and uh, these weird big side pockets that have these really unnecessary buttons. Like, it's already open, but then you can unbutton it so that it's like slightly more open <laughs> on both sides. Like, what is the point of these? There should have been a button in the middle or something. And I quite like when guys wear these kind of pants so I like when I wear them too. But don't ever be afraid to shop in the guys section. They have some cool shit. And the last item I have to share with you from my Plato's Closet haul is this really cool... It's supposed to be a dress, but I'm gonna wear it as like a, a long coat vest. It's like a... Vote. When I put this on, it sort of reminded me of like a video game character that like has like this really cool like long um, vest coat. <laughs> and like, is like really badass and like has double guns and like a sword or something. It just, I looked like a really cool video game character and I was like, I wanna wear that in real life. I wanna be a cool video game character. Yes, please. I paid full price for this and it was only $7, which I felt like was a pretty good price for what it is and what it's gonna be used as for me. I think $7 is pretty good. That is all for my Plato's Closet haul and try on. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like. I'd really like to know if you'd like to see things like this in the future. I just said like, like way too many times. So I hope that you guys check out Plato's Closet if you'd like, again, not being sponsored in any way. <laughs> really wish I was, cause I need the rent money. However, uh, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I hope that you guys can join me on the journey to finding out. See you next time. I'm so bad at like describing clothing. I'm just like, I thought it was cute. Like, do I need any other reasons to like it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh no. For fuck's sake. So the last few pieces of clothing that I have are all male tank tops. No, they're not. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that.